welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video it really means a lot to me everyone who has been supporting me thank you thank you thank you so much i can't express that enough we're slowly getting there slowly but surely so if you haven't already please subscribe you know it would really help me out it would really mean a lot but anyway Today I am going to be retwisting my hair and I'm going to be showing you guys how I do that for whoever's interested. I do have many twists in my hair right now. I'm going to show them and I'm just going to be redoing them. If you want to see me redo my mini twists, if you want to see them go from this to this, please stay tuned. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to start by taking these bobby pins out that I have in my hair that are holding my mini twists into two twists. So I've had these in my hair about two weeks or so. I actually can't remember but it's been been a while the products that i am going to be using to kind of refresh redo these twists are the same products that i use to put them in they are two products by can two one is the comeback curl next day curl revitalizer and the other one is the coil calm detangler on my ends when I was doing them, I put um, Blue Magic, the castor oil one. Right now, I'm going to section off a portion of these. I'm sectioning off these top ones first because I actually did them in two different sizes. Like, I wanted the back ones to be a little bit bigger and I wanted the front ones to be a little bit smaller, so that's how I did them. Now I'm just going to take the bottom row of these and uh, so I want to show you what I am working with. They are very frizzy. and dry looking so i'm gonna show you how i do them and then a lot of it will just be repeated i'm gonna dampen them a little bit because i don't want them to be soaking wet and i also am not going to be using water for that reason as well i just want to detangle them, refresh it, and twist it right back up. I'm putting a little bit of the Cantu Coil Calm Detangler on the end just for a little bit of extra moisture. I'm going to twirl it around my finger to close the ends. And then also I'm using this Blue Magic and castor oil not the original blue magic but and then I'm putting that on the end and look at the difference sleek and moisturized I'm gonna do the exact same thing to this one See 
how it had like a knot there. Just gonna take the hairs away from that and now it's not really a knot anymore. Okay, and then same thing. This would have been a bomb twist out, but we're not doing that today. So I'm just pulling the hairs away from each other just to get it separated. And then I'm gonna take the rat tail comb through it. And mind you, I would never run a rat tail comb through my hair. It's just these sections are very small. And since they were twisted, they're really not that tangled. Like when I first did this style, I was getting a lot of shedding and I mean there's a few hairs in there from these two sections but probably won't have that much hair and now I'm just gonna twist these up so again I'm putting a little bit of that coil calm detangler on the end and then I am sealing it with the Blue Magic. That is pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Oh my gosh, look at these two. Like, I can feel like this is terrible, bro. That is pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm just going to be speeding through it. And I will probably come back when I get to the top because I did the front a little bit different. But, yeah. I will come back when I am up at the front. As you can see, I had to move locations. The lighting was getting bad, but I did finish the back part. So this is what I have so far, and they are really coming back to life, and I just love them. So I have this part left up top. I'm going to take this down and start working on that. Bruh. This whiskey got me feeling pretty So pardon if I'm impolite And I know I could be more creative And come up with poetic lies You take me higher Higher than I've ever been back Cause then you made me slack I know it was my right and I can get it off my mind To get out of sight for I end up behind bars Oh my mama, mama, mama I just shut a man down I just shut a man down In Central Station been that number one diva in this game for a pretty cool up. Wanna pop my hood up? Betty better have a six pack in the cooler. Not to me, she ain't no diva. Honey, honey, I can see the stars all away from here. Give up my love on top. Give up my love on top. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm not 
finished. I still have a very small section on this side, but it is about 9.30 or so, and I just wanna clean up and get ready for bed. So I will finish this in the morning, and I will show you guys the finished product when I come back. But so far, this is how they're looking. Last time, it did not take me nearly as long. Like I took a break and I was doing a bunch of other things. But yeah, I started about 4.30. So five hours, that's a long time, but I was doing other stuff. And it honestly takes a lot longer recording. So that's really why when I first did them, it took me like two and a half hours. So it's not that bad. And you can make them as big or as small as you want. So I am done for the night. I will come back in the morning to finish this and show you the end result. It is the next morning. It is a little after 8.30. And these are all dry and shrunken up. But I'm going to work on this side and probably be done, I'd say less than an hour. So I will work on that and then I will come back. These are the final results. I put two flat twists. Just in the front to kind of keep them out of my face. This is what they're looking like. So this is two weeks worth of shed hair that was trapped in the twist. So it's not that much like, I just went through postpartum shedding. So this is like nothing compared to like the amount of hair that I was losing a couple months ago. But yeah, so there's that. If you wanna see how I maintain these or like what I do at night or in the morning to like revamp them or refresh them, let me know down below. I would really like to do that if anybody's interested. If there's anything else that you guys wanna see from me, also let me know in the comment section down below. Like that would be great. I remember doing these last year I did them twice last year and when I did them last year they were not even hanging on my shoulders that goes to show you like these are really great protective style like it helped me retain a lot of length when I did do them and yeah now I feel more comfortable wearing them and I like them a lot better because they are longer now I think that's about it. This wraps up the video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. I would really appreciate it. And turn those notifications on because if you don't, you won't know when I upload a new video. Until next time, bye.